So today I'm back with episode 11 of my FIFA 14 career mode with Arsenal. And today the first game in the episode is going to be against Cardiff. But we are in January now. So before that, I want to submit a couple of transfer offers. So I sent my scouts out to look for a defensive midfielder because I feel like that's one of the weak areas of the team. I've got a lot of central midfielders, but none of them are really a proper CDM. And I think I need one. And these are the results that I came back with. And Matuidi, Bender and Gustavo aren't scouted. And it says it's going to take a while to scout them. So I think I'm probably just going to try and sign Martinez, Cadera or Busquets. Busquets is way too expensive and Kadira might be as well. And Javi Martinez is too expensive as well. And after looking at what the other clubs want, I think Kadira is sort of the only one that I can afford out of them three. So I'm going to put in an offer for Kadira. And if I can't afford him, I'm just going to have to wait for the scout reports to come back in the other three to see how good they are. So his value is 9 mil. I'm going to go in with 9 mil and see what they say. And also, I still do want a keeper. And I'm really interested in Sirigu because of how he played in that first game against PSG in the Champions League. In the second game, he did ship five. But in fairness, they weren't really his fault, most of them. But in that first game, he was unbeatable. So I do really want to sign Sirigu. But I don't know if I'll be able to afford him with signing the CDM as well. And the CDM's more important, I think. But now submit that bid for Kadira. Let's play this game against Cardiff and see what they say after the game. And this is the team I'm going with for this game. And it is looking fairly tied, so I've had to make quite a few changes. But my next game after this, I think it's a cup game, so I'm going to rotate for that, so I should be okay. So let's get into this game against Cardiff and hope for a good start to the episode. And hoping to return the favour for them beating me the last time I played them. Lewandowski's running through that. I've clipped it through as Sanya. Going to shoot across the keeper. Marshall makes a good save. I thought that could have been 1-0 after three minutes here. Gibbs is going to play the ball down the line to Lewandowski here. He's out wide, which isn't really where I'd want him necessarily. But he can run inside. Going to try and hit a shot around Marshall. He's at the post. That would have been such a nice finish from Lewandowski if he'd have scored that. This is actually a really good effort. I didn't think there was much hope of scoring from there. And I almost did. Lewandowski's won the ball there. Could see that coming, and now he's got a run on goal. But do I lay it off to Lewandowski or do I go myself? I'm going to go myself with Podolski, and he's had his shot saved. I think I ran it just too far. Gibbs is going to play the ball to Lewandowski there. He's going to have to shoot from far out, and the Marshall has tipped that round the post. I think it might even have hit the post. But now I've got this corner, and Cazorla's going to whip it in. Because Shoney gets his head to it. That's hit the bar. That's three times now the ball has hit the woodwork. And that is half time. We are drawing 0 0 here, and I'm disappointed with that because we really should be winning. I'm not even joking. I think I've had about 70% possession, but I've not been able to score, which does sound like classic Arsenal, to be honest. Only 54%. I really thought I'd had so much more. I've had five shots, and I have hit the woodwork three times. I think I've been quite unlucky as well, to be fair. On another day, I think I could have scored three or four by now, so hopefully I can just get one in the second half. If I get Lewandowski running here, I'm just going to spray a ball over the top, and he's made it past Corker. It's a good ball. Lewandowski with a chance to finish. He's been saved and I can't score the rebound. Oh my God, there's another great chance which I've not scored. I'm going to play it out wide here to Gibbs. Wasn't actually intention, but it might still work. So I can play it to Oxlade Chamberlain. He can take it past the defender there and shoot and he's put it wide. The Marshall's made six saves. I'm going to play it to Arteta now and now to Gibbs. Podolski's in a great position. Shoot across the keeper here. It's saved by Marshall. Going to Oxlade Chamberlain there. Going to try and get a 1 2 of Podolski. He's clipped it through to Oxlade Chamberlain. He'll have a chance to shoot here. And I've finally put the ball in the back of the net. It's taken 75 minutes, but I've finally managed to do it here. And I've got an achievement for it. I think it's probably because it was a volley. Yeah, score with a dip in volley. And that is a good finish. I feel like I've needed a sort of finish like that to beat David Marshall today. And I finally have done it. And after three quarters of the game here, I've finally put a goal past Cardiff. And after that, I can now make some desperately needed subs because look at Lewandowski's stamina. He's in the red. So coming on our Bentner, Ozil and Walcott, Adam Ukazola out to the left wing. And coming off our Lewandowski, Podolski and also Chamberlain. I think this is the first time Chesney's touched the ball and it's taken over three quarters of the game. Gibbs can play down the line to Cazorla here. Take one touch and then cross it into Bentner. It's a good ball. Bentner with the header. And that is 2-0 now. And I've definitely got the game secured. I was worried at 1-0 that Cardiff might get lucky and come back. But I don't think they will now. And after persisting with Lewandowski for all the game, Bentner comes on. And within like two or three minutes of him coming on, he manages to score. And that is full time. And we do beat Cardiff 2-0. We just about managed to get over the line in the end. And the 2-0 scoreline is going to make it look comfortable. And I mean, we were dominant, but we definitely weren't comfortable because we couldn't get that goal until the 74th minute there. But yeah, looking at those stats, I definitely deserved it. Okay, Real Madrid have come back and they said they want 11.5 mil for Kadira. And I can afford that. So I think I'm going to go for him, but it means I won't be able to get a keeper. But it's all right, I can save that till next season. So they've asked for 11.5. I'm going to be cheeky and offer 11. And now we've got the second game of the episode here against Aston Villa and 
I was wrong. It's not a cup game. It is a Premier League game. So I might have been a little bit of trouble if my team's tired. Okay, my stamina with my team's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. So I think I'll be all right. And the next game after this is definitely a cup game. So this is the team I'm going to be going with for this game. So let's get into this game against Villa and hope for another win. Walcott's got the ball here. He can run forward with it. He shouldn't be getting caught by the defenders. And he is just about managing to get away from them. Lewandowski's opening the box. That's going to be headed away. Dropped to Ramsey, though. Going to hit a shot and it's saved by Guzan. Can't get to the rebound. But Flamini's headed back to Walcott here. But now I've got really nowhere to go with it. Until I can play it down the line to Alaba eventually. Now back into Ramsey. He's been tackled, but he's still got the ball. Going to take a shot and that's hit the post. And I can't get to the rebound there. There's a, with a ball to Lewandowski there. Oh, cuts it back well on the defender. Takes a shot and it's saved by Guzan. Alan Hutton swings it across now to Benteke and Sanya can't keep it out. Benteke is always going to be a problem in the air in the box and Sanya's unlucky not to keep it out. He controls it instead of clearing it. I was spamming B, but I don't know if I hit it soon enough. Then it's in off Sanya and the post. It's gone down as a Sanya own goal. That's a good tackle from Flamini there. I get Lewandowski running. Walcott can play it to him and he has. Lewandowski with a chance to shoot and he's put it wide. I feel like he should have done better with that. Walcott's got the ball here. Going to try and get a 1-2 down the line. Lewandowski has played it with him, but now, because it was Lewandowski playing it, there's no one in the box. So I'll put it back to Sanya and now put a ball in. It's taking a deflection, but Lewandowski gets his head to it. But it is saved easily by Guzan. That's a good ball through. Andres Feynman has it. Vermaelen does tackle him and then gives it back to him. And I've given away a penalty there, Anna. Don't know why Vermaelen tackled him and then just put his foot on the ball instead of, like, moving it away from Vyman. And now Villa, through Christian Benteke, have a great chance to go into a 2-0 lead here. Come on, Chesney, I need you to make a save here. Going to dive left. Hopefully he can. Benteke's gone right. And that is 2-0 to Villa. We've got a mountain to climb in the second half now. Going to run it forward with Walcott here. If I get an option, if I play it to Ozil there, have managed to get to him, get it onto his left. Shoot, it's been blocked. And that is half time and we are losing 2-0 and I feel like we're a bit unlucky. Villa have had two chances and scored them both and one of them was from a penalty and one was an own goal and I've had quite a lot of chances and just not been able to score any. But if I create that many chances in the second half, I think I can grab at least two goals to get the game level. Ball to Ozil here, going to clip it through to Lewandowski. It's a good ball. Hopefully he's on side. He is, but Guzan saves that shot. Benteke's won a flick on there to Weinman. And Koscielny does battle back and Vyman gets a shot off still somehow, but it has gone wide. Sanya's running down the line there. I played the ball to him. I'm just going to whip a ball into the box here. It's a good ball. Lewandowski does get his head to it, but it's straight at Guzan. They should have done better with that. It's a ball into the box there. Alaba heads it away. It's come back into the box though to Benteke, who has a chance to shoot. And he's going to have a free kick right on the edge of the box here. That could have been a penalty. I'm going to make a couple of subs here because I need to at this point in the game. So Podolski's coming on for Oxley chamberlain because Oxley chamberlain was too tired and Arteta's coming on for Flamini because I need something more going forward. And I'm keeping on Lewandowski even though he is so tired because he's my best goal scorer. And now Villa have a free kick in a really good position here and I feel like that wasn't where the foul was. I feel like it was more in the central and they've had a shot there. They laid it off. I couldn't change to a player to block it but it has been saved by Chesney. Alaba's running down the line here. Just going to wait for the right time to play it to him and I have. Lewandowski gets in the right position in the box. It's a decent ball. Good header. It's hit the post. I can't believe I've hit the woodwork again. And that is full time. And we do lose 2 0 to Villa here. And I feel like someone must have put a magnet in the ball for this episode because it's been attracted to the woodwork. I've hit the post and the bar so many times today. And I feel like I'm really unlucky to lose that 2 0. Yeah, I've had nine shots, six on target. And I hit the post at least once in that game. And I think more than once. So I at least should have scored a goal. And I probably should have won the game considering the chance and everything. I'm hard done by there, I think. So after that game, I've got a transfer offer for Robert Lewandowski. And my bid for Gadira has been accepted. Oh my God. God, that's a lot of money. Also, Lewandowski's too important. Theoretically, I could sell Lewandowski and then just buy Benzema off him and have a load, load of money left over. But I do like Lewandowski, so I don't want to sell him. I'm going to reject this. And Kadira wants £110,000 a week on his contract, so I'm going to offer that. Crucial first team player. And this is going to lower my budget again quite a lot. And Kieran Gibbs also wants to discuss wages, but after signing Kadira, I don't think I'm going to have enough money to offer him a new contract. Now I've got a transfer offer for Ozil, and that is also a lot of money. That is so much. And this one's actually really quite tempting because Kazola is decent decent backup and Cazola is a very good player. Ozil is better though but the amount I could strengthen other areas of the team with this much money. I could probably buy three players with like the 60 mil and I'll still have Cazola as a good cam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stall this and I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. If I do counter it, it will be for the 
23 mil that they say I can go up to. But I'm going to leave it to you guys. I don't know what to do on this one. So tell me in the comments, should I counter this offer? And Kadira has accepted his contract. So let's get him into the club. And you can see that's taking a big hit to my budget. And now Kadira comes into the first team here. And looking at his stats, he's a big improvement on any defensive midfielder I've got at the club currently. And that 88 stand tackle and the 89 interceptions and the 89 strength. They're the big ones for me. That's going to make him a really good player for us. Okay, so I'm just looking at my transfer negotiations and Liverpool have actually pulled out of the Ozil transfer offer. Even though I only advanced like three days after stalling it, they still pulled out. So it looks like you won't be going to Liverpool. But still leave down in the comments what you'd do if I do get another offer for Ozil. Because for the right amount, I am still open to selling him. So still let me know in the comments what I should do should another offer come along. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this episode here. I know I've only played two games, but I've done quite a bit of transfer stuff. So I feel like the episode might be too long if I put a third game in there. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you want to carry on watching this series, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.